Well, <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I even struggled to read this because I, if I had to go back now a couple of years and read this article, they'd take me away in a straight jacket, tie me up in a room and leave me there with my weird spouting Bible verses. But <laughs> these are real stories. Oh my word, and people are still sleeping. I, I can't, I can't, I just, I can't. I can't believe it. When you see stuff like this in the news, and it's not spoof news or rubbish news or hilarious jokey news. This is real news, people. <laughs> World's first remote mind control technology developed in South Korea. What could go wrong? A remote, long-range and large-volume mind control device has been unveiled in South Korea with plans to use the tech for, for non-invasive medical procedures. Yeah, we trust the government not to use it for any nefarious or bad means. They're absolutely only for medical procedures. Researchers with Korea's Institute for Basic Science, IBS, developed a hardware which manipulates the brain from a distance using magnetic fields and tested the tech by inducing maternal instincts in their female test subjects, mice. That was test one, successful, from a distance. In the next test, they exposed a test group of lab mice to magnetic fields designed to reduce appetite, leading to a 10% loss in body weight. This is the world's first technology to freely control specific brain regions using magnetic fields, according to the professor of chemistry and nanomedicine who helped spearhead the new effort. Specific regions of the brain from long distance in a wide scale, so large group of people, can be controlled. Now put that into the New World Order's basket and check out. They have got areas of the brain that they've been researching that they think is tied to religion or faith and things like that. So now imagine them targeting that area of the brain to try and shut you down from a faith perspective or blot that out. Now we know we're covered by Jesus Christ. Ain't going to happen. But what if they do that to people that aren't saved, that are lost, that have accepted darkness and shut them down and dumb them down and then beam other things into their mind to keep them distracted. Maybe this man leading the world is actually God. This Antichrist is the Messiah. The tech is ready. It's there. They've tested it. <laughs> That's why I'm shaking my head. It's here. Why would you need to wait another 10 years before you start with the final week of Daniel if all the tech is ready, everything is prepared, the CBDC systems are in place, digital money, they've got the mark system, they've tested the microchip, they've got Neuralink, they've got Starlink which can connect everything, they've got control, they're pushing 15 minute cities, they're bringing in electric vehicles, they're clamping down on food, they are in position now, not 10 years from now, now. How long do you think you can sit on that starting line just waiting to start your race they're waiting to start their race everything is ready hence the urgency to reach as many as we can while we can and pray always pray ain't no one controlling my mind with no matter what they got because i'm covered and protected by jesus christ i have the holy spirit with me so good luck to them Shalom.